Hello, what is up? Welcome back to Dangle Up to the Bad Despair. It's been a while since I played this game because I haven't played it since the official first class trial for that Terror Terror was the killer. So it's good to be back. Now let's just get right into it. Also, I also if you see I went back to chapter one and started playing the day the day life during the free time events. Hang out with um Terror Terror and uh, Biakpia before they were killed. The best part that I like about this game is I like what as after you finish chap the first chapter, you can just go on and move to chapter two. Like, unlike in Danganronpa one, like um, you had to finish up the class trial again to go into the next chapter, and then if you went back and tried to do that chapter again, you couldn't. So I'm really glad they didn't do that in this one. Let's get right into it. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Nagito? Even if we weren't told this directly, you know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win, they are all worthless trash. Man, Nagito. Can I get the mask on me? And everybody else. No matter how hard a lonely human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that never brings success. But that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way we'll ever soar through the sky, which means unworthy humans will never become worthy. No matter what they do, people with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their ability to write from the start. That's right. Just like you guys. Just like you guys. That's why I have to start so much respect for you. Because you have the ability to write from the start. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object. Your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just... I want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yeah, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me would be. No, my God, I get those damn speeches. their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that fits. Oh, shut up. I don't know whose voice it was. I don't know who had him. Seeing punishment, sins and coconuts. Sin and coconuts. Yaki and Terra Terra just died just last night. And I do like that the change effect that I still get hungry. I learned this first hand as I head toward the hotel for some jury stolen footsteps. I wonder who hit, I wonder who hit Nagito. Wait, where is Nagito? Oh! Oh, Hajime. You're already here. Good morning. Uh, Yo. Uh, morning. Just like that, the answer in this one is still pretty gloomy. That's what happened yesterday. That's to be expected. Yaki, I've heard plenty of our leader was killed. I guess some killings are fun. And that friend is also killed back in front of us. I think it's been something like that. I think that's going to have to kill someone. Huh? You guys don't look so good. You're busy all day. You just had a few funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. It's like, what happened? 
got cans, guys. I even got killed. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Why are you always saying so mean to me? Still, I swear, Mr. Hamhands, this is what you're supposed to be out here, terror stuff. What the heck do you mean? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. Huh? Is it all right to defend the killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No, that's not my intention, but... but... You gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a super the trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserves to get killed. In fact, I'd rather believe he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. Uh, uh. Jeez. Hey, what gets? The people that gets to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but... It smells. Something smells. Don't you think? Huh? I guess. It can't Don't be. tell me. There better be another dead body. No, it's not smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. Is it Michael Mario? It smells bad? Um. It's kind of like how a bar and I call smells over closing time, you see. I don't know the smell. You must have had a pretty rough life. Imagine it. I do smell something. It's like a sewer rotting garbage. I know it is. Naked Mars breath probably stinks. Hey, <laughs> you got me there. She didn't say anything I'm not really funny just now. You know something like a mar. The smell comes from you, Kyoko. Huh? Whoa, it's true. Kyoko, you reek. A rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a de demonic eclipse is about to commence. Oh my gosh, she just like Toko, she doesn't bathe? <laughs> what right does she have to cry? She's been picking on me, Khan, and picking on everyone else. Oh and when she gets- And then when she gets picked out, she starts to cry? She's such a little brat. <sighs> She's crying! I said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. And no, I should smell that bad. I'm as always like breathe in my mouth. Like, Are you even taking baths? No. You haven't bathed? I can't help it. I can't tell you keep my massage for myself. Hey. Hey, Yoko. You have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? Really? <laughs> I can't tie something up, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Hey. I love you, Mahiru. I'll give you a kiss. Hey, Hyoko, you don't have to hug me. Mm, the fish is me. She appears to have taken a liking to you. Welcome like to the world of girl love. It's slippery. It's slippery when wet. <laughs> Didn't genocide didn't genocide her show like like to make comments about girl love and stuff even though she even though she likes boys? Yeah, someone looks so tense in her life. I guess probably than being down forever. If I was up with myself, I'd probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings inside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to think. Anyway, the free freak one like you tell. Since they're both not here. Uh, now you mentioned you're right. I saw Fuyuko earlier in the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Not just Fuyuko being Fuyuko, but... Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child of some of his fortunes, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything. Without station, I don't even want Nagito at all. He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. Uh -huh. That was a special something. I'm not suspicious. Mm, that's right. I'm not suspicious. What's that? Someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time. Hmm? At the right time? No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Now look, my life is changing my cuteness, so you probably can't stand up on me, huh? Oh my god, why do I feel like Junko's still alive? She always acts this way when she controls Monokuma. My suffering? My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. Something like that? Who cares about that? Try to tell us why you're here. Yeah, I'm searching too. 
My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? You know, my mana beast. One of them just disappeared. Huh? One of the mana beasts disappeared? He may cut back on the cost of our food too much. Maybe perhaps we're boycotting them. But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shame for a mana beast to lose to a real human. That's what she wants to say, right? Hmm? This is a really prelude, but I might to occur soon after. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, I get it! It's just like. It's just like every time we do a class trial in Dangling Number 1, a new area was unlocked. So that means another part of the island is unlocked now. Now then, let me hear you scream! I should make such sweet music for you! Uh, hey, Gunnan, you're still playing with a stuffed animal. I'm still being called a stuffed animal! Oh well, looks like you guys don't have anything in the world beast either. Not to be time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go balls from worrying too much. A wise cat bob, cat bob, what is that? Our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. As Monica comes to us from the sound of the right source once again, he disappeared. I thought he's a faithful servant, he's talking about Monami, but Monami hates him. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a Monami disappearing. Hmm, mm, yeah, that's better than I could, I could think of this. Um, wait a minute, something. I guess I can just come back later. Then leave. Really kindly. Hey, up the freely. I want to say something. What are you gonna do with the book for mana bees? Ah, yes, that's right. Ta-da! I'm going to feed the mana bees. You did? Are you serious? Defeating a monster like that? How about someone like you pull that off? I'll talk about that more in detail in different mode. Hey, I've released the bridge gate for you all. But that key is open. Let's go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ahem, uh -huh, that's totally right. Now, now that you can go, now you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and have fun life together for sure this time. Aww. <laughs> I can't help but just love Monami. She's just so cute, just like Chiaki. Living together is crazy, Monami. We need to find a way of course, the Scream Force Islands are in goal. Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. Well, I don't like you are average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Oh, right, fine. You can be salvaged for both parts in there immediately. It's easier as you and I have to do what I have planned. <laughs> Let us, then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. Right, that's why we leave this island. That is impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Ah! Hey, hey! Hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's weird if we don't get, we don't get that close to her. You're right. It seems like the has shifted towards this one new island. Expecting to find something that will help us escape the situation. Who has fell down with the restaurant? Except for Mahiro and Yoko. Being in our front of the new island, don't excuse me for being stinky. A new island, huh? I should have had some clues too. Uh, you can't! You brought some of kimono sash! That was. We can go actually finish exploring the new island. But if I don't want to get to the bath, they'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me again. I'm finding it hard to feel sorry for you after what you just said to Mikan. You've been bullying her the whole time ever since we, ever since you've been on this island. And then, and then you wanna like give people like bad nicknames, and now you're sad that they're bullying you. I'm finding it really hard to feel sorry for Hyoko. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll take a light shower first. Yay, hey, we're gonna wash each other! Huh? Wash each other? Hey. Hold on, that's a good idea for me to go in too. <laughs> nah, nah, we're both girls, we need to be shy. But, come on, let's go! Hyoko put Mahiru's hands down like a child before a school trip and head towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see. Watching each other, huh? Oh, 
Okay, I mean, I can go peek on. I can go, like, go take a safe peek or something. Let me try the girls' cottages real quick. Let's see. Jackies. Mekons. Akanes. Kyokos. Show us a new island for now. Ah, uh, seriously? Well, then are they... Well, then are they Amahi Roos? Oh man! Oh well, I guess Hashimi's right. Wait. Oh, that the spare meter's filling up. I should give her some. I should give her some gifts. I know I have a lot of something here. No, that's for Shiaki. Um, I don't think I should give her Mukuro's knife. that hold meter as much as possible and then see what happens when I do. Like, what what happened to Nagito? Could he be in his cottage? Okay, one more hold meter to go. Okay, there we go. I filled up my entire hold meter. Now let's see what happens after I take my next step. After I go explore the island, that is. Too. She's right. The Mona Beast that's blocking the bridge is this bridge is gone. Plus the gate that's blocking the bridge is not open. I guess the Mona Mew was right after all. What lies beyond the bridge? Alright, guess I should find out. So this is the new island. You know? 
Well, now's not the time for me to make, to make careful observations. Every clue that tells how to leave the island, I need to find it. Wait, okay, before that. Aw, oh, man! Well, now we know they're dead. Gundam Chakir. Gundam Chakir there. Sonia and Peko are at the library. Me comes at the pharmacy. No one's at the diner. Let's check out this ancient room first. Wait, is that Hope's Peak? What is this enormous building? It has the obvious advantage of going, but it should get some symbol over it. Damn, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. Oh, sorry, I was dozing for a bit. You don't look like you were dozing. Look at the people sleep while standing up. There's this huge building. Mm, I like some sort of ruins. I want a historic landmark. Ancient ruins? That's what you think, too? But such as a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? I don't want to say it clearly, but. Yep. Yep, it's a mystery building. It feels like a special place. A special place? I'll check around here for a bit more, so you can go somewhere else. Come on, just go somewhere else! It's trying to make me go away. She wants to, she really wants to be alone so she can see if I'm being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep, yep, please me. She should be doing her own thing. Where's my ass so innocent? I see a more than I'm gonna with. Oh well. Wow, this is a piece of a lot of books. It's probably a library, but no one else looks pretty good overwhelming. Surprise! I have a little surprise! I never expected to find such a splendid facade. It robs me my home in the National Library. But isn't that strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true. I just expect that nobody's here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Money is here! I'm reading a book! Since you come here, you're this famous library to you? I see. It's clear to me that these are amazing. And as more I try to do, more I try to do, I feel even emptier now. What about your explanation? Why are you always making sense, right? I'm thinking you think you can do homework. So I prepared this library. Prepare? You? Yeah, everyone can get along and study together. It's a student studio to study. You're not like a good teacher. I am a teacher! You... you're more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Real identity? No, that's silly. Goodbye! Run right away as soon as things get inconvenient. What's even more suspicious? However... I cannot blame that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. According to Silent's guidebook, many of the guests are welcome to sleep for weeks at a time. These are probably things they do that they donated. Hold on, can you say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no clue. Yeah. Then I should read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? No, I am I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Uh Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise if you turn a summer. And that is what it says. Oh, oh, the gate. Oh, one second, please. Ah, there we go. This is exactly what Biakia told us before. Jabberwock Island is a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island has the large administrative building. Huh? That is strange. That is strange. I mean, the central island of Trevor Island. 
because you saw any villains at all. The only things that there were Monokuma Rocky apart. Um, also, this guidebook? It says there's a bronze statue from the lobby at the building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about the bronze statue turning into the mana beast? But the statue is in the normal park, not in the lobby of some building. Not is that all? There's another switch that strikes me as strange. I couldn't have got the clear way to travel between the five islands to my boat. Huh? Well, some people want to bridge us. Critics worry about their, their freaking environment, so none of doubt. What does that mean? Then what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island like Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah? Artificial island? Palm Jumeirah is a huge artificial it's a huge artificial island on its forest location in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial design to look like Jabberwock Island. <laughs> that especially might be why we're the only ones in this island. <laughs> well, so that would be impossible anyway. No, uh, this has to be completely artificial. The gap, the sky must be old too. It touches everything with the island's current situation. <laughs> my, my, you're very intuitive. You're very intuitive as soon as it's an artificial island. No, you're here! However, hey, hey. oh, those guys are the only ones who can do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? The hint is, you know, you know the organization you guys were talking about before? Yeah, hey, sure, those guys totally make each other horrible group of people. Who are you talking to? That sounds like about time. Can you see that for Alex and Yanni? That's the Yanni now. Hey, hold on a second! I thought we were going to reach and Monica would disappear as usual. It cannot be! Could it be? Is that it's completely artificial? There is no way that is true. There is no way. The guidebook is probably just old. You are right. You are right. Mm, that's right. It's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it, there's no way I'd fall for that. This is a huge library. I thought it human. But there are no human beings to be found here at all. Just like that, it might be safe to assume that Zyla is so unhappy. Are they all safe, Sonya? I knew it! Oh, nice! Well, that's a lot of books. I don't have really fancy covers, they don't actually be very valuable. But so a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. Hmm, what language is this written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. Hmm, such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those politic- are those political books? Or maybe some kind of philosophy? There's a ship called Maxine. It breaks the lid of our fundamental mysteries and one of the wonders of the world. Wait, a cult magazine. I never, never heard that before. I think from that time I was playing Shin Megami Tensei's Nocturne, there was a thing called a cult. There was a thing called a cult magazine. That's quite a surprise. It's not like I read it often. I understand it because it has a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. Uh -huh. It seems Miss Ryder has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is... <gasps> oh, Genocide Jack! Hmm? That Genocide Jack or whatever? I feel like I've heard about her before. Most Genocide Jack from the Legend Chapter in Sirica has a, has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages and flooded the scene of the crime. Oh, I thought she was a high school middle school student with a sail uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know high school middle school girls wear sail uniforms these days? I mean, know who it is. It's Toko Fukawa. <laughs> this one's particularly favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I should explain to you just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls themselves the ally of justice. Also, Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, sparkling justice is the life of serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonya, calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the mask, Spoken Justice wears knowing that the real age agenda. After all, the central circle of these serious, you're an expert, yes! Hey, you two. I've been listening for a while now, but 
Why do you want mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please hold on. As a sick to refer to those people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with the ice and the difference from your own is very important matter. Serial killers' devices is very different than the norm, but a marvelous existence. Oh, I am totally intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady pushing into a bad boy type of situation? The god is clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Speaking of serial killers, I feel like. I feel like that's gonna be a recurring theme. Like, here's what I think the recurring themes in the in the games are gonna be. There's always gonna be one serial killer. And that and Dangan Bone was Genocide Jack, Toko Fukawa split ident put split personality. So it could be a serial killer in this game too. Same thing could be said for Dangan Rumba V3. And I feel like in, ne in the next chapter, there's gonna be two murders. It's gonna be a that's gonna be a recurring plot thing. And the, and the fact that Sony started talking about sparkling justice means that possibly one of one of us could be. It's possible that one of us could be sparkling justice. It must. It probably could be a girl. Because, because, like, when we find out about Side Jack, it's obvious that one of us was a serial killer. Kind of surprised me that it was Toko, but not that much. But I wonder who's it gonna be, though. It might not be one of my favorites, though. Squeeze! What's with you? I'm sorry. I get so excited to start shouting. I'm so happy that someone talked to me. Before the way you hear this happening. These are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Come on, Mac, I'm pretty sure we can hear those causes or injuries. Okay, if you have feeling, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely, de I should definitely decline. Go away, dumbass! We can start signing down anyways, I have the burger on one hand. Wait, hold on, why is he here? He was at the restaurant. Why does he know about New Island? Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? You don't understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating! Jeez. <sighs> I'm not a person, I'm not the way to tell me. I'm not a person. And I found this place, and I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mr. Soft, you happy now? So, get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person. Huh? Mind your own business! It's got nothing to do with you! Actually, it does have to do with me. I know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too. So, why are you avoiding us? I'm not avoiding you, bastards. I decided not to rely on anyone. That's for lying on me. That includes the Kuzuriu clan. I can just survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's like I don't want to put the head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough on my own. I'm not relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Shut up! Why do I bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway, anyway, how does that spend any time with you guys? Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? Hmm, isn't it obvious? This kind of situation and interaction with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya and Terra are proof of that. 
has to be freshly be held back by affection with my time to kill. You're you're still saying that. Of course. Of course. Sacrifice the lives of anyone here if I guarantee you my survival. Even though you don't even actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me for my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off! What the hell? I'm so going to talk to a guy like him. Wait a second, I have to explore. Wait, hold on. I have to look in the buildings and make sure that there are no other hidden monokumas. I'm gonna go to the drugstore and then see if there's one there. This room is right back. Let's go check out and see what it leads to. Green? That voice is now. Was that a Buki? Wait. Oh shit, Buki. That scream came from behind the building. What happened? Uh, oh. oh no 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 no. Hey Buki, are you alright? What happened? This is bad. I can't get some other answers for the words. What's going on? They're killing. The killing started again! Huh? Look! Over there! <laughs> this bitch just said pointing. <laughs> so I think it's the beach where Pookie is pointing a finger. It's not killing, they're just fighting. Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? Done, He's done it! Make one his ultimate move! Super body blow! That's instant death! She's lucky like, she'll live another five minutes at best! Akana, your current power level, you can't defeat a mere team manager! What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Uh, this is a fight! <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown! That's even worse! The most of school are clear state excessive violence is prohibited! What round? This is not a real fight. We're training. Okay, I'm gonna myself down. But it looked like a real fight. Huh? Hmm? Just a team manager. We may be able to fight for real. We go for great for this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. You've been so why so interested in training? <sighs> if I gotta admit it, <sighs> she's alive. It's not like you get killed by a weak blow like this. He looked pretty strong, so I can help but get excited. I thought sparring would have me burn off some of his energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? You made a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I got it. It seems you're a type of learners through actions rather than words. She also give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your position and your timing, it's all half-assed. You're not using like your else with gymnast talent as well. Basics! Make, sh make sure you understand the basics. You always be second wave you you on instinct. Damn it! Shut up! If you understand what I just said, come see me. When the time comes, I'll fight you once again. Don't forget. <laughs> you better not forget what you just said. My desired one is pretty crazy. I won't give up until I beat ya! The problem steps upon you off the beach. Oh, if she fought that phrase is just to her own style. How ominous. My hands are still trimmed. I'm still numb. That 
What kind of conversation is this? <sighs> Fucking Ibuki almost gave me a heart attack. I thought she was I thought she was getting killed or someone was getting killed. What's inside this beach house though? This was a beach house that's near the edge of the beach. It looked pretty luxurious. I guess celebrity style beach house. Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something? The shower's out of order, but the ambience is nice. And the, and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Good for the urban seas that are full of trash and debris. This place is completely different. We can live on this island anyway. Or anywhere the ghost private beach. Hey, don't shine your dreams like that! That's right! Oh, poorly, go and splash around this private beach! Awesome! Totally awesome! Splash around such a gorgeous beach is really the best! He was usual happy to go like this. He was usual happy to go like himself. I guess one of his good friends. Sonia! I wonder if Sonia would come too. I want to see my Sonia in a bikini. Whoa! It's here! Why not? Are you trying to find my love affair in Miss Sonia? Changing the beach has prohibited. It would be bad if she were peeking at her. So, ah, so you changing her is allowed. I'm not going to the beach itself. I was going to come here after changing. I'm never going to give up on I'm going to give her up. You might let her down now. Got it? Hey, breaking the rules is not allowed. Other playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. Where? Where is the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of her. No questions asked. Where the fuck did you get that gun, Monokuma? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you holding? You. What? Are... Oh, I thought I was about to come attack. You. What are you holding? <sighs> Machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers were shot to death. That's just common sense. It's common sense. Where? It's like going to a military dictatorship. <sighs> I want. Uh, I want to shoot something. I don't want really to, but I do want to shoot something right now. Control yourself. I have iron willpower! So low and dirt! No matter the cost, it's all day someone breaks the rules! Um... Um, as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please don't be changing at the beach house. Unless you want to be shot by Monokuma. Wait, is this like the rule that Monokuma made in Dangan Rumble 1 that you couldn't go into like the girls' locker room or something? And if you did, you'd be shot to death by a machine gun? Uh, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. This is the shower room. There's no sign on the door. Just a little trash that's being repaired in the construction or something like that. This really is the by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me. We mentioned Nagito at the restaurant. Cause we should look pretty unsettled about something. Oh, we were talking about Nagito. I wasn't thinking about Nagito. You should ask me about that. There are a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. Most of your drinks have colored dyes and would be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? This is the closet. And the inside is... It's like a small storage room. It's like, it's like a walk-in closet. The surfboard's arranged on the shelf, but I'm not on the surface, so it doesn't really matter to me. To the beach. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, ask Kazuichi about him. Oh, which reminds me, I have something to ask you. Huh? What? What's about my guitar? Uh, I haven't seen my guy all day. Do you know where he is? I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy ass bastard? He needs to search silent first and foremost, so maybe we will escape. So I just end up it's like all annoying talk right right here. That's it. All done. He enjoyed the conversation very forcibly. She's like that. He's definitely hiding something. Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well, um, I thought everyone said to pick up the ancient ruins on the side on the side right away. You can, right? Right away. Okay, hurry up. Hmm, this one push your touch right about some kind of clue. Guess what helps the ancient ruins?
What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, it is clear faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. It's it seems perhaps an ancient actual ancient ruin. How should I say this? Do you think this building resembles a school? School? Yeah, it looks like Hope's Peak. Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Now that is similar looking buildings. It's just this really looks familiar. It, it's a coincidence, right? I'm not familiar with similar. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, I'll fucking cut you if there's a waste of time. <laughs> I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> she may have been awake out of silence. <laughs> nope, nothing like that. Aww. Um, who cares? They can't play in the back of mine anymore. Then what in the world did you find? Chiaki found something. I don't know what it is. Hey, Chucky, what did you find? It's not worth silent, because that's not a silent secret. Mm, about that, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's like, it looks, it's like it doesn't belong with a boulder like this. I keep thinking of him, it feels unnatural. It's like a comic book version about baseball becoming a side scoring action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. Look, that door over there. Door? This is Hope Seek Academy! It's hard to make off from the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? Yeah, it looks like this place that's the door to the room in. What's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? It's always time to go inside. I should push you off so this dust and clean so these roots off the door. Root them off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure I understand what I mean by unnatural. I don't want to stand back to try what she says. Yeah, you're right. This is Chucky, so he brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck in the door. And then... What is this door? It's like it belongs to an, an ancient What's room. Going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? I think it's the favorite of an ancient room. And where's the symbol on the door? It looks like it's Japanese. Oh, you're totally right! Um, and it's just been in the same standing. It's been like it says near height or future. Future? Hey, who cares about some on the door? More point, how do you open it? What's inside? Oh. I think there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Oh, right. That must be the key. That must be the key to open the door. It's always have to open when you have the password. Yes. Yes. It's your high and mighty. So what's next? It's always about to letting the password run any hints. He's using a mom to get over by a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! Shut up! You're just like whatever, might get it right. Uh, I think we should be. Does that seem dangerous? Huh? Hmm? What do you mean dangerous? Because that's the next panel. Does he have a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun? Huh? That's a gun! If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's supposed to make a chunk of message of password, right? Damn it! It can't be helped. It looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then! That's the uh, upper and second ancient room with the girls, I guess, from a sci fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Monica no more me show up. You're best quiet. You guys are about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. For now, I was just focused on gathering the whole fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell us some lousy lies. You guys are only the ones that come to that door of dust, right? <laughs> you guys are having a purpose, right? Hey, it's like my equals, you trashy bitch! Again? Why? How can I feel sorry for Hyoko? She keeps on blaming Nikon! 
say you're sorry, bitch. I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. It's possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason this island is inhabited. For example, it's supposed to be a shelter and there will be natives inside. Oh. If something happened, I'll make them hide in a shelter. If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all wild. Several possibilities crossed my mind. Oh. So there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a, ma in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Hey! Um. For instance, even though Morning Me and I can come and go as you please, you can't ask what's beyond that door. Oh. <laughs> you can go there too? Let me go and see Miss Mian. Yeah, now I show my sister was going to have to pick up this meteor fest. This is the mystery of John Rock Island. Mystery of the morning and I can't solve. That's our conversation for you guys. One day we'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> that seems easy enough. I like to remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? It's well, 15 says I'm going to count your range to come to this island. That's it, that's probably a traitor, I don't even know, Mom. About hiding among the group. Just kidding. I know. There's a chair among us. That's the ugly Tanuki said before. Ugh, call me ugly like Tanuki. That's kind of sad. He's depressed when he's like us. He's totally depressed. It is a traitor. You're coming out open the door, right? There's probably boats or a way to get out that gets at will beyond that door. Or maybe there's going to try to want to come on one of hiding there. I do know there's a traitor among us. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up, confess. There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, Jeff, have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? I'm the one asking you a question. Don't you change the subject? Uh -huh. I understand we just want to ignore it. Well, then there's such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no way, elementary school students have come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because their organization actually exists. So what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys end of the world. <laughs> the world? Hey, um... That's not overseeing my metaphor, you know. Those guys are doing the world. Don't you think it's appropriate to call them world ender? You mean, they're a terrorist group organization. Terrorists? Huh? That might be accurate. If they lose their terrorists, if they manage to win, they become heroes. <laughs> and it's more, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? Um... Junko and her ultimate despairs were the ones who ended the world. So you're going to see this organization where they're putting us through all this crap. Um, where's the log at? I think I found the one. World Ender? Are you saying that you and Monami are also members of the organization? Who oh, no. knows? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization the trainer is working for, the, the ones who brought you to this island, World Ender is behind it all. Why are you being targeted by work? Like, like that. Don't, Don't panic. It's just a made-up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't swim in disbelief for something as ridiculous as brought in there. There's no way the organization or the traitor exists. Monokuma, I should listen to spot nonsense all you want. A puff cigar smoking your life is gone. My, my. I was kind of stupid guys in front. Are you calling me a liar? Yeah, if you keep on like that, I'll do this and that's your very spotty part. Silence. And I'm telling the truth. The world and the organization is the final boss of this island. That's one of the members that's hiding among you guys. I thought you guys gotta find the traitor and kill them dead. Hey, hey you better stop. Shut up, Monami. Mean, big brother to find trash like you needs to be punished. No, no don't put my ears. They're gonna come, come on. Monokuma and Monami depart from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? 
Is there anybody who understood what he was talking about? Um. Not a clue. Uh, hey, hey. For now, so instead of saying we should just go home for the day, I think it's like time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. That's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Just call it a day. I've explained in a while and all we did scout all we've uncovered or more mysteries. As we load our heads and bemoan that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient wounds, strange doors, traitors, and world under? I have no idea what's going on anymore. I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. I thought I had my exhausted body into the bed and closed my eyes. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like those foods at all. Those foods are red because they have crab as any of them. I think you can search for the crab and she try and make me overcome my disgust. This way I fall for that. I will never ever eat, ever eat red foods. You see, a science or a very soon conspiracies are closer to what we might think. Make sure you guys be careful too. so quickly like the night got skipped or something. I explain why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Oh, Gundam. Hi Gundam. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? The wind is running amok today. It's killing the lost souls of Byoku on Terra Terra. But this need to be created with the heavenly mother of wisdom that you burn the fires of, Je of Jen Hanna. Perhaps we should pray for them, human child. It's possible a prayer might save your souls. Uh, now then, I should take my leave. That guy seems you should. Um, okay, where is Nagita? Can you talk to me about something? What's wrong? Why are you so surprised about it? There's no need to worry. Head to the restaurant first. Does this have something to do with Nagito? Oh, Habuki and Sonya. How many hours I use? Who knows? Well, there you could have made it gives you the shivers. We should talk about it more, you know? Shimmy with your word arrows. I think about Biakia and me feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay a beat. About Biakia? I see. Yeah, that's I see. right. He yeah, had piggy fingers. He was, re he was really totally awesome. It's not easy to keep promise to the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that? He played in piggy fingers. So I'm so disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm up to the restaurant. I do. She might say the last bit. I feel such a slouch for the Japanese version of my certain piece of the fact. I'm sure I was really annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, I remember just with some of that being said, let's have breakfast. Actually, I want to see what happens if, if I keep walking around and I get and I hatch my chibi meat. Alright, what do I get? Oh look, I got a Yusami.
Can I touch the rest of my skin? Oh, sorry. I was just looking at my terror terror. What's going on? I know my coins of terror terror is made of boring. That wasn't boring at all. I mean, it's your mom. She's like your most supportive family member, you know? Yeah, I agree. Of course, you make you know, I can accept your terror terror did either. But, but, but so, it's my family. Hey. I'm sorry, it's nothing. Do you know think my terror terror did stupid? It'd be better if I let Monokuma to influence me too. That's right, I'm never, that's right, I'm never gonna follow Monokuma's orders. Yo! Yo, Hajime! Yeah, good morning. Man, I'm starving. I just wanna help me get some food. I thought the restaurant has past food, but Kuro Chocho's cooking food is pretty so style. His party dishes, they were so so good, I could like eat as much as I wanted. I wanted to keep eating his food. Oh, even like this isn't, isn't like me. I don't like to show you I'm so hungry. Alright! All I gotta do is eat! Hi, Chucky. Hey. Ah, good morning. You're playing video games again this morning? Hmm. I think we find the time you always come up here. You always come here, good Chucky. Hey. I need like video games, but if you don't get out in some more, you're good sick. I know it's important to get to know, to know the others better too. Hey, hey. Sounds like game that's right. I'm sure they better stuff like jump rope and bamboo cups that didn't like it. Huh? Jump rope? Bamboo cups? In this case too, I don't get it. Come on! Take breakfast at breakfast. Can you just quickly as they say? Are you saying that's a thing you too? What's with that tone? If you don't want to come, but you don't have to. She she's so bossy towards guys. Jump rope? Bamboo cups? Who's the old Wait, who was like a huge feminist in um, Danger Number One? I think it was Toko. And I guess in this one it's Mahiro. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? <laughs> oh, his eyes to something said about wor a trade or world ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one after one night's sleep, there's no way to suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, it's obvious. The same goes for me too. I think I no sleep last night because of that bad thing nonsense. But... I wonder if it's really true. There's a traitor among us. No. You don't have to worry. You you don't have you don't have to worry about the traitor at all. What? I bet you the worst case scenario. Possible. In a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Of course! In fact, I'm so glad you're tied up at the moment, I can't move at all! Wait, what? Tied you say? Can we have a friend from Nagato? We had not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagato is the trainer! What about the other part? We said he was tied up and can't move. You tied up Nagito? Where is he? Hey, cousin, what should, what should we do? Don't mess, don't put me into this. It's the fun we work together, too. Ah, oh, crap. You guys are both idiots. Yeah, that's almost what me and Hyoko agree. Hey, what does this mean? Well, you know, I wish we could let him run around free. I mean, tired to put us all in danger, you know? Tired to commit a murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer, too. It's nice to do it from an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up. One of the cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. How should I put this? It's a little creepy. I don't want to badmouth him. What did he say? He's not a little creepy. He's keeping the max. He's keeping it so hard because I'll take it to see it. Hmm, that's, hmm, that's really a nice line. Every time I'm being agrees with you. And that's right, but he knows this is more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. What they like and what they hate, what makes them happy and makes them angry. It's known for all things like standard reading experience that can predict their own performance actions. At times, the standards do not work for certain certain things. There's only the most fearsome things at all. Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. You should be careful, you're tuning in the edge yourself. And? Hey, where did you tie up Magito? The dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Biyoki had to kill it. He needs to fucking way good at that place. It's 
Do you think they could have chosen an ally between the two and enemy? You killed him! Oh, he's obviously alive! I only knocked him out so we could tie him up! Oh, you were the one that shouted that. Yeah. What should I do with my guitar at this point? Let's get everyone's opinion. It's that's why someone walk around freely. It's only what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> he's the most likely person to be the traitor. Is it okay if we just couldn't tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. If so, it seems we better watch him for a while. It will be bad for him to eat a drink. You know I'm dying for real. I know that already. Gee, I think too something like that. Maybe we should treat him more like an achievement. <laughs> and the tiny boy is upsetting again. Who are you calling tiny boy? <gasps> You're here. The figures. You guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? You don't like your buddy, you corner them? Look at your sheep acting all righteous. What did you say? You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, the she sheep all bleed on me? What did you say? It looks like there's more bastards to tie it up. Try it if you dare, bastard. You can join me, but I'm not scared. You're just a pitsky about the cruiseria plan backing you up. What did you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. Huh? Oh, one second. Oh, just a Facebook post. You bastards. I'm sure you regret that later. What the heck? You're just a whiny loser. Um, Kazuichi, why don't you stop this already? Aww. Gee, that was fighting. I guess that was not going to be easy in the future. Aww. The future? I'm going to be the future. <laughs> hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. Aww, Me too. I don't know if I have a mystery, but I don't know if I have a deal with. She's just wondering after another. And then I cut the Bahamas so here. We finished our breakfast and left for our, for our respective cottages. What about Nagito? So, what should I do today? I think I could just stay here and do nothing. Um, before I, before I stop. Is it possible for me to go out there and get Nagito out of there? Yeah. Nagito just had to be on this point. I don't want to see him right now. I don't want to see him right now. I don't want to see him right now. I shouldn't go inside. But I want to see Nagito! Oh man. Okay guys. We are gonna stop off right here. Actually hold on, before we do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna find one person that I'm gonna do a free point I'm gonna do a free time event with. But I'm not gonna do it with them until the next part. So let's see who's free for now. Mike tells me but I wanna see. But I can't see him. I think that we. Wait, are they at the beach? Okay, guys. We will stop off right here. If you like this episode of Ding and Rumpa 2, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here next time for we'll do our free time event with Mahi Rikuzumi. Thank you and goodbye.